What's going on everybody, I'm Primal Liquid and welcome back to my 100% playthrough for Final Fantasy 7. We are on part number 9 right now and uh, well we're just about to venture over to North Corral. Which means not only are we going to have North Corral, we're going to have the Gold Saucer and we're going to end up getting one of the worst weapons ever. Well, I say the worst weapon ever, it's technically the strongest weapon for somebody, but it's terrible. First things first though, we, we, well, we're just talking to an old guy who passed a guy in a black co uh, cloak who's dangerous. And that right there is another hint to the reunion. One more of uh, Hojo's experiments, who has the Genova cells in him. Other than that though, we're just going to move on. Now, I am going to have random battles enabled here. Simply due to the fact we actually want to come across some uh, some bombs and the reason for that is bombs actually have a really 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 good steal called the right arm and when you steal the uh, well what they do is it's basically an attack item it will attack all enemies and it will deal about 1500 damage to each enemy so very 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 strong it's effectively a fire free combined with all basically. So we definitely want to get a bunch of them. Well, I, I say we want to get a bunch of them. We're going to try and get a bunch of them. If we don't, it's not the end of the world. It's more, you know, we just want them, basically. You know, we'll make things a little bit easier later on. And I should probably put Cloud back in the front row since he doesn't have the long-range material anymore. Oh, I can't get in the reactor, though, unfortunately. Oh, well, it's fine. Anywho, let's just go around getting our items, shall we? Oh, bombs. I don't mind if I do. I want to steal. Now, if I don't steal them, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. But I do want to try and steal. Oh, he blew up way too soon there. Okay, I guess I'll just steal. Stall right on. There we go. Yeah, I guess I'll just use Bolt too. Where's Ice? Does anyone have Ice? Wow, he blew up again, really? After one hit? Oh, well. Oh, well. Alright, so let's heal up. Unfortunately, I don't have all with Restore anymore, so I have to do this the old-fashioned way and just heal them all individually. I should probably give them uh, Fury again, though. Just so I can get more Limit Breaks. And look what we have here. We have a nice little perch up top that we can uh, do absolutely nothing on there now. Anywho... Let's carry on and get some items. We are also coming up to the point now where we can actually uh, get a double growth weapon for Aerith. Which is going to make a nice difference. Right after I steal this right arm. Kind of makes me wonder though, like, how are we stealing the arm from the bomb, you know? It's like, why can't we steal the left arm as well? Like, why, why can't we only steal the right arm? That ain't right, man. That ain't right. It's like, I, I want both arms. You know, it's like, I'm not picky, I'm not picky. It's like, I'll take both, you know. I'll happily take both. It really doesn't want to give it me, though. Come on. Wow, it really doesn't want to give it me. What the hell? And now we're just going to murder him. We're Meteor Rain. Okay, now that we have two right arms, oh yeah, there's nothing down there. Rip. I thought there was. I thought there was. Yeah, we'll just use Planet Protectors to make us invincible. And then I guess we'll just attack. We'll just attack. I was going to use Beta there, but I figured, nah. The good thing here is the enemies here are still actually weak enough that uh, Metro Magic can actually still one-shot them. This is the last time that Metro Magic will one-shot uh, enemies, though. So do keep that in mind. Save. I want to save. It's like we always have to save, guys. We always have to save. One other thing I am going to do here, though, is I'm actually going to turn off uh, times free speed. Just because I want to make sure I fall down all of the holes, essentially. I'm not going to jump. I want to fall. And then I'm going to hold left and mash the X button. And the reason for that is if I hold left, then we can actually get the uh, the weapon for Aerith. Which is the one we want. 
There is another one just over there, which is the W gun, which is for Barrett. We'll be getting that uh, later. But now, though, we just want this one. The Wizard Staff, which, again, is a double growth weapon for Aerif. And, of course, that's going to be equipped right now, baby. Right now. It is a little bit weaker, but that is totally, totally fine. It's like, what we care about right now is not the damage. It is just about the, uh, like, the materia growth, basically. And again, we're going to fall. And we're going to get the last item down here now. Come on, man, come on. There we go. Times three speed. Now, now that we have the items, we can just times three speed it. And there we go, the star pendant. Okay, and now we just have to go back and get all our items. Jo okay, come on, I was mashing uh, X there. God damn it, man. God damn it. Hey, hey, hey. Well, either way, you know, we still got back up. And we got the transform material. Okay, now at this point, you're technically meant to go up because the uh, the downway is a dead end for now. So we're going to do that first. Hey, guys, how you doing down there? Go, Cloud, go. Now, we're not going to do the bridge just yet. We're actually going to run all the way over. Whoops, I went past it. And we're going to climb up here. Now, there is a bird's nest up here. And, oh, look at the little cute baby birds. Okay, so we can either take the treasure or we can leave the treasure. If we take the treasure, we get 10 Phoenix Downs and a battle against the baby chick's parents. If we leave it, then, well, we just leave it and we don't get a battle. So, obviously, we're going to take the treasure. Cloud, I want it, man, I want it. And, of course, we have to fight Mummy and Daddy Bird. So, we're just going to go ahead and kill them. We're just going to murder them, man. Murder them. Okay, don't worry though guys, the babies were not harmed. The babies were not harmed at all. It's like, we'll leave them as they are. Alright, let's pour the bridge down. Hey guys, I'll catch up with you. Okay, and now we can move on. Let's go! Although we still have one more set of treasures, I guess. We have to go down here and into the uh, mysterious cave that we can't see. Because there are some items. We have a mine source, we have a tent, and we have a power source. Hey, buddy, how you doing? So this guy here is just a miner. You know, he, he's just taking it easy. It's his, uh, it's his vacation home, you know? It's like it's out the way, there's no one around, it's nice and peaceful. Maybe it's not the nicest of places, but still, you know? It's still a nice little, uh, it's a nice little vacation home. And here Barrett just gets abused, man. He gets used and abused. You wouldn't think Barrett used to be one of the uh, the top people in the village. But he is. He was. He was indeed. It's alright though, Barrett. It's alright. I'll still be your friend, buddy. I'll still be your friend. It's okay, Barrett. It's okay, buddy. Are you cool, man? Are you cool? You, you cool, yeah, you cool. Okay. Now, there are a few things we can do here. We can basically use the, uh, the shops. Now, these guys are meant to be really, really poor, but funny thing is, I typically always sell my old materials here when they're mastered for 1.4 million gil each. So, even though they're poor as hell, they still somehow manage to uh, scrape up all the money I ever need. You know, it's one of those little things. You can also buy a force steel here, but we got that from, um... Uh, roof sees send off anyway, so we don't need one and of course we don't need any carbon bangles Oh man hiccups <laughs> oh, Okay, and of course we can enter the uh, the houses say hello to all these people. Hey guys. How you all doing? Hey little kitty oh, Okay, and there's an item we can actually get up in this top one uh, Which is an ether at least I thought it was this one. Is it not this one? Is it a different one? Hey, well, I'll stay anyway to rest. That's odd, though. Hmm. No, actually, maybe it's not this one. Maybe it's a different one. It might be the first one down the bottom, actually, where the woman was. Let's see. Let me in. Uh, hey, hey. Okay, no, let me back in there. Hmm. I think it's up in that corner. I guess now we've got to wait for him to move. Yeah, there we go. There's the ether. 
Now I just gotta get back. Come on, let me through, let me through. Mmm. This is the one problem with these older games, you know? It's like the pathing is really irritating. Come on, man, just let me through. Let me through. There we go. There we go. We're out. We're out. Okay, though, we have one more thing to do. We're gonna get a, another really, really, really good enemy skill. And for this one, though, I'm actually gonna inflict sadness on everyone because this uh, enemy skill actually hits like a truck. And Aerith needs to get hit by it. Okay. So for this, what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna run all the way around, away from North Corral. Because at the moment, there's only one place we can actually get it, and that is in a uh, battle with a chocobo. Because we need to encounter a harpy. Now, there are a couple of ways you can encounter harpies here, and the only way we can do it right this instant is basically in a chocobo battle. I need a chocobo law materia though. The other way of getting this, uh, which can be gotten later, is essentially, well, I'll give a red enemy skill as well. Um, the other way of getting it is from the uh, the desert, but we can't do that just yet. So for now, we just have to uh, do it this way. Unfortunately, it can take a little bit of time. Like these really do not like spawning, to be honest. They do not like spawning at all. And it doesn't help that these guys uh, here can actually hit pretty hard as well. So I will actually have to heal pretty much between every fight as well. Because the enemy skill that they're going to hit me with is actually going to do near enough a thousand damage. And I don't have restore on anybody. Yay, potions! It's like the only one I really need to keep alive at the moment though is going to be uh, Aerith. So she's the only one I need to heal for now. It's all right though. I kind of wish my Chocobo lore was a little higher level though. Just to make this a little bit faster. Oh, there we go. Chimera! Uh, well, not Chimera. Harpy. Okay, so now we basically just need to wait for him to use Aqua Lung. And I'm gonna keep. Uh, ah, there he says. Okay, so we learned Aqua Lung now. So let's just go ahead and murder him. Murder, murder, murder. Dun, 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 dun. So Aqua Lung is a little bit like um, Beta. It is really, really, really strong. Uh, and it's a different element. So, Beta is fire, Aqualung is water. They do about the same damage, only Aqualung is 1 MP less. And of course, uh, I do have it on my second enemy skill materia now as well. But, I'm gonna just take that enemy skill off and I'll put a restore back on. Just because it's not really needed now. I'm gonna keep Chocobo Law on though, just so I can level that up. Just for when I start going ahead and doing my, uh, my gold Chocobo, you know? At least then it'll be done and dusted. Yeah, if we uh, just use Akalong here, we'll see just how much damage it does. There we go, 1,100. So about the same damage as Beta. A really, really, really strong hitting skill there. But that's all we actually, uh, that's all we came out in North Corral for. One thing I am going to do though is I am going to do a little bit of farming here, just so I can actually... Uh, well, just so I can get my 30,000 gil, because I want to actually just buy the lifetime pass uh, while I'm here. Like, it'll just be much easier to get it now. Hmm. What can I sell, actually? I might be able to sell enough items to just buy it. Oh, I'm going to use all my sources on uh, Cloud as well. Hmm. Hmm, 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 Oh, well. Alright, let's see how close I can get after selling my items, actually. Can I get really close? Can I get close? I want to get close to the 30,000, man. The good news is, though, because I have double growth on everything now, like, this isn't actually a terrible spot to, uh, farm. It's like, I'll be getting about 100 AP, uh, a like a fight, so it's not terrible. It's not terrible at all. Now I'm gonna sell all my ethers and. Uh... I'll sell some tents as well. That will put me over the 30,000 barely. So yeah, I'll just move on now. I'll move on. I'll move on! 
Yes, things for you, so let's, uh, let's... Ooh, end current game, hell no. Let's just arrange my inventory, because it's really, really messy right now, and I do not like a messy inventory. Uh, I could heal, but I'm not going to. We're just going to leave it and uh, go on up to the gold saucer, baby. Sorry, what happened? My hometown used to be around here. What do you mean used to? It's destroyed, guys. Can you not tell? Like, you've just been there. Oh, wait, no, I need more money, actually. I'm going to need more money for the uh, the games. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to buy the, uh, the one-time pass for now. And I'll buy the lifetime next time I come here. But listen, die. no one uses cold nowadays. It's a sign of the times. It's all right, man. It's all right. Okay. Yeah, we know about it. We know. Your, your village burned to the ground, buddy. Your village totally burnt to the ground. It's okay, Barrett. I must admit, I'm really looking forward to the remake when they actually do this. Like, getting some uh, backstory on Barrett will be really, really nice. Obviously, we have the little bit of backstory, but we don't actually have a whole lot, you know? Okay, let's go on the ropeway. Yeah, I do want more backstory for Barrett. It's like, the main people who have backstory in the game are Cloud and Tifa. It's like, realistically, those are the only ones who have a lot of backstory. We have a little bit for Red, but not a whole lot, and Aerith, well, we don't really get a whole lot about Ur either, unfortunately. It's like, Aerith's, ba uh, Aerith's backstory mainly comes from Crisis Core. But then, we have char uh, characters like Barrett, who, they just don't really get a whole lot. So... You know, it's one of them. It's like, I really do hope we get a lot more backstory for each character in the remake. We'll just have to wait and see, though. We will just have to wait and see. Man, look at all these pretty lights. All these pretty, pretty lights. And obviously, we're going to have a bunch of mini-games here. Like, lots and lots and lots of mini-games. We're also going to meet another character here as well that's going to be joining us. Now, the main thing I want from said character, however, is his materia. That is what I really, really want. Hey there, Chicky. How you doing? Yeah, I'll just buy the 3,000 gil one for now. It's like I could get the 30,000 one, but... I need the gill for the actual attractions, because I need to do a few things here. Well, let's have fun! I know it's in the right time to do this. Yeah, it's not the right time. It's not the right time. I ain't in a cheery mood, so just leave me alone. Really? That's too bad. Let's go play, guys! Yeah, let's go play. Let's go play. I wanna play, man. I wanna play. Can I play now? Can I play? Okay, there he goes. There he goes. So, first things first, we're gonna go to the, uh, the haunted. I'll go with you. No, oh, I should have spoke to Arif. You looking for? Hey, Kate Sif. Hey, buddy. How you doing? You cool, bro? You cool? Come on, man. Give, give me my fortune. Give me my fortune, yeah? Like, I want my fortune, bro. Can I have a good fortune? Oh, man. Just g give me a good one. Give me a good one. What the? What does it say? What you pursue will be yours, but you will lose something dear. Yep, we're going to get the black materia, but we're going to lose Aerith. Aerith is going to die. Spoilers. Okay, let's go. First things first though, I'm straight up unequipping Manipulate and Transform from Katesef. I don't really care about the Transform material, but I do really, really, really care about the, um, uh, do, 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 the Manipulate. Like, Manipulate is going to be very, very, very important. Anyway, let's go to the, uh, the Ghost Square, because there's going to be some items there. Hey, spooky, spooky. Spooky spooky. How you doing, buddy? And there is also an item shop here. Well, we don't really need anything from it. It's like, it's just your basic, uh, your basic item shop, basically. 
And obviously we uh, we don't need to buy anything there. Oh, okay. Uh, can I get the turtle flyer then now? Let me try. Hey, buddy. Can I rest? I want to rest. Oh, wait, I need GP. No, thanks. Can I actually enter the room? No, I can't. Rip. Is the turtle flyer in here? Is it in here or... I know there's a turtle flyer here somewhere. It might be in the room, though. Like, it might actually be in the room. Oh, well, I'll come back here later. I'll come back here. Anyway, our first things first, then. So, we can do a few different things now. Wait, no. No, actually, I'm going to get the tilt fly. I mean, I'm already here, so I might as well. Anywho. Right, where is it? It's here somewhere. I know it is. I just can't remember where, though. Is that it? There it is, Turtle Paradise number three. Forget the bad times with a nice drink. Only thing missing in the gold saucer is a pub with good drinks. And a great atmosphere. Stop in the Turtle's Paradise. There we go, that's what we needed. I knew it was in there somewhere. I knew it was in there somewhere. Okay, now we can move on. Now, we can go to the Chocobo. And this is basically just trick about racing and things like that. But right now, we can't really do a whole lot with it. Um, we can do a little bit of betting on the C and B rank, but they aren't really that worthwhile. I mean, as you can see, Fire Fang Potion and Antarctic Wind for the uh, the treasures. So there's not really a whole lot of point there. So well, I'll just buy some random tickets. Uh, let's see. Mm, one, two... Two, four, no, we'll go three, four, and then we'll go five, six. It's like, it doesn't really matter if we win or not. Well, this is the basic idea of the Chocobo Saucer. It's like, we're not really going to get anything from it anyway. It's like, there's no point in betting this early. You can win some GP from it, but other than that, like, it, it's ultimately pointless because the items are terrible on these uh, low ranks. It's like, we'll be getting some really good items once we unlock the uh, the S rank way, way, way later. And, of course, we lost, man. We lost. It's alright, though. Okay, so let's leave there. So, now we actually need to get some, uh, some GP. So, we're just going to go to the Wonder Square. Because we're going to get some easy GP right here. Uh, you can actually trade GP as well with uh, this little lady here. You can get Potion Eva, X Potion Turbo Eva, Gold Ticket, or I think that's a nut. The 500 GP one. Now, the basketball is a really easy way to get um, GP once you get used to it. But we don't need to do that for now. All I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to take part in the Moogle game. Try it. It's Mark's house, baby. Yeah, man. Mog wants to fly, guys. He wants to learn how to fly so he can impress a lady moogle. Okay. So, we need to feed Mog some Koopo nuts. And for this, we need to feed him five nuts the first time. That's one, two, and three, and four, and five. Okay. So, now we just have to wait for him to go and fly. Oh, it seems like Mox decided to fly. There we go. He can fly, guys. The Moogle can fly. Oh, okay. And then he's... Oh, he is a lady friend. He wants to impress the lady friend, guys. Okay, so once again, we need to feed him some Kuponauts. And this time, we only need to give him three. And then just by doing this, we will get 30 GP, which is actually enough for everything we need to do. We can also do the uh, the bike mini game and get a speed source from that, but there's not really that much point in it. Like, it's just a really annoying mini game, so I'll do that later. And there we go, he's flying, guys, he's flying again. He's impressed his lady friend, guys. He's impressed his lady friend. Bye, Mark. Oh, look at all those little babies, guys. He's been busy. 
He been real busy. Yeah, no worries there, I guess. Finn. Bye, Moogle. Bye, Mark. And we can talk to this guy for the reward of 30 GP. Okay. Let's go. That is exactly what we came here for. If you do get good at Slam Dunk, by the way, though, you can actually uh, win 300 GP a game from it. It's like, let's give it a quick try. It's like, this is one of those mini games that I am good at. I just have to get in the swing of things. I missed that. It's like, basically, what you want to do is, like, throw it just as the ball gets in line with Cloud's uh, spiky hair. That was too low, that was. It's like, you see the big point of Cloud's hair? That's roughly where you want to aim it. Nope. Still too slow. Uh, too soon, sorry. I'll try it once more. This is one of those things that it's like you really do have to get in the swing of things for. Not like that. Not like that. It's like, I, I, I used to be really, really good at this, man. You just... Oh, come on, man. Like, it's totally in line there. I'm probably doing it like a fraction too soon. There we go. There we go. And then you basically just keep doubling your prize each time. But if you do it 10 times in a row, you get a 300 GP. Nah, see. Messed up. Oh, well. 2 GP. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's one of those minigames that's... Uh, it is annoying, but once you get in the swing of things, like, it does become quite easy. <clears throat> it's like, you basically just need to really... Concen well, not concentrate more... You just have to repetitively do it, and sooner or later it'll become muscle memory. But it's also one of those mini games that if you take, like, if you stop doing it for a couple hours, then you'll just go back to square one essentially, and you'll have to start practicing it again and again and again. But that is essentially the easiest way to earn GP, basically. Because if you do it 10 times in a row, you do win 300 GP. Okay, so now we're gonna go over to the speed square. Because we're going to get the uh, the worst, well, I say the worst, the most annoying item in the game, the Umbrella. It's a weapon for Aerith with an amazing 58 attack. The only problem is it has no materia growth, so it is essentially useless to us. Yeah, I know what it is. It's the materia that can destroy the planet, man. It can destroy the planet. Also, I should probably just mention... The, uh, the Umbrella is missable. Uh, you can only get it before you get the airship. Once you get the airship, then you can no longer get it. In other words, you are locked to uh, disc one for it. So make sure you get it, guys. Make sure you get it. Okay, in we go. Now, with this, I am just going to do the, uh, the cheese method. I don't want to listen to the game instructions, man. I know how to play it. Okay, let's go, pay. Let's go, let's go, girl, let's go. Okay, so I'm just gonna like go for some random score, like going through the game and that. And then later on, we're gonna be doing a little cheese method to get a huge amount of points. Let's just do times three speed for now, though, speed it up a little bit. Okay, let's see what we can get. Let me know down in the comments, guys, how many points do you guys think I'm gonna get? Like, I'm really curious what you guys think. Probably not a lot. Probably not a lot. Not without the uh, the method, anyway. Oh, man. I totally hit that, man. I totally hit that. I suck at this game. I really suck at this game. Like, I am terrible at it. Really terrible, man. Oh, yeah, I, I really suck at this many game, guys. I'm not gonna lie. This is another one that I have to spend ages doing. Shoot the Ferris wheel. I got some. I got some points. See, man, even though I hit them on that, it's like... You know what, I'm just gonna use the D-pad, it'll be easier. D-pad is definitely easier for this than the analog stick. Like, way easier. But yeah, in order to get the Umbrella, you basically need to get uh, 5,000 points. So, keep that in mind. Come on, man. I know you're there somewhere. 
1,500, that's not bad. It's not bad, man, it's not bad. All these balloons, man. So pretty, all these balloons. Hmm, 2,000 points already, that's not bad. That's actually kind of better than I was expecting, especially because I did like I did really bad at the start. Coming up though, we have the uh, the uh, the blimp. So position your aiming bit right down in the bottom right and spray and pray. And there we go, seven thousand two hundred. So that's enough for us. It's like we already have enough now. We already have enough. We don't need any more points because we only need five thousand for the umbrella. So we don't need to do anything else now. Well, let's see if I can get some more anyway. See if I can get some more. Doesn't look like it though, doesn't look like it. Maybe 7,500 if I'm lucky. See if I can blow up the uh, the spaceship. Probably won't be able to, but... Come on, man, come on. Yeah, it's not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Oh well. He's all right. Alright, we'll just put times three speed on now to finish it up quicker. And there we go, we have the Umbrella. A super, super, super annoying weapon to get. And it's terrible as well. It is totally terrible, guys. Totally, totally terrible. Okay, so now that we have that, we actually are kind of done here. It's like, we, can, we can't really do much else for now. So let's just go, uh, let's just go to the Battle Square, shall we? And carry on with the story. But there's a problem, guys. Everybody's dead. They've been murdered. They've been shot. And it's done by a guy with a gun on his arm. And I wonder who that is. I wonder who that is. And it's like we only know one person with a gun on his arm. It's alright, though. We don't need to worry about that. Did you guys do this? No, it wasn't us. Hurry and run. Hey, we don't need to run. It wasn't us. That's as far as you go. No, it's not. Man, I could easily beat these guys in a fight. I could totally beat them in a fight. Hey, pay attention. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. Okay. So, we're now in prison. Uh, one thing I will mention is, if you actually have the original uh, PS1 version, like the uh, Japanese PS1 version I should uh, point out, you can actually fight a super, super, super good uh, enemy down in this little cave here. If you go down into that and, uh, <clears throat> well, you can actually fight a enemy in here called Test Zero. And when you fight this enemy, it gives you, I think it's like half a million EXP and like 50,000 AP. And it's like super, super, super weak. But it's basically a, a debug enemy, you know, like a test uh, enemy that the devs use to test the battle systems and that. And they just kind of forgot to take it out of the Japanese version of the game. Unfortunately, though, well, we uh, we can't do anything with it. So we can't battle it. It's all right, though. So let's move on, shall we? It's like, we got to go find Barrett, man. we got to go find Barrett. Hey, stop following me, you. Stop following me. I kick your ass, boy. I kick your ass. I teach you a lesson. I'll teach you a big, big lesson, buddy. Okay, let's go visit Barrett, shall we? When it finally lets me in the house. There we go. Hey, Barrett. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me, buddy. No. He's going to kill me, guys. He's going to kill me. He's going to murder me. He's totally gonna murder me. Okay. However, we do have something else coming up, and we actually have to encounter a Deathclaw enemy to learn an enemy skill. And this enemy skill that we're gonna learn is called Laser. However, it's effectively Demi 2. It's a really, really strong gravity spell that deals half the, uh, well, does half the uh, opponent's health bait. Oh, excuse me. So, if the enemy has a thousand health, laser would do five hundred, and so on and so forth. Unfortunately, though, it is gravity based, so there are a lot of things that are immune to it. But again, you know, we have to complete at least one. Uh, do, 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 do. 
What's the word? We have to complete at least one enemy skill, basically. It's like, I'm definitely not going to be completing all four, because that involves a nightmare of, like, just completely leaving Wutai until pretty much the end of the game. So I'm just going to complete one, because that's all you need for 100%. You just need one complete. So that's what we're going to be doing. Oh, okay. See, so we just have to have some fun with Barrett here. I'm going to change the party as well. Because I don't want Tifra and I don't want Kate Sif. Definitely don't want them, man. Definitely don't want them. Okay, Tifa can go out with Airy, Fan, Red, for. Oh, wait, no, I've got to leave Barrett in. That's fine, then. That's fine. Okay, Barrett, you can have your W machine gun, buddy, because you've got double growth on that. And then we'll give you a Shinra beta, just because we need the... Uh... Well, we kind of need the defense coming up. And then we'll exchange. We'll give you all of Red's materia. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. And then we'll also just give you the uh, the enemy skill materia that I have. The enemy skill lying around. I'll take that one off Aerith as well and give that to Barrett just so they both got them. And then we'll just give Aerith... Eh. Where's Manipulate? Where's Manipulate? There it is, Manipulate. Manipulate is a really good one. Manipulate is definitely a good, good, good one. And now we just need to uh, basically go find out that uh, we've got to see the boss. The boss man. We've got to go visit the boss man. And once... Well, I'll turn the uh, random encounters on as well because we need to encounter a death claw. And of course we don't get it, man. Of course we don't get it. Yeah, I'll just use Barrett's limit right here. He's all right. Also, one thing I'll mention is these bandits can actually steal items from you. So, you should probably kill them pretty quickly. Definitely kill them pretty quickly. Alright, let's uh, try getting into a battle with a death claw. The only downside is this can take a little bit of time. Nope, more free faces. Okay. We'll just get Barrett to kill him because he needs to learn his limit breaks anyway. Oh well, man. Wait, one survived, really? Hmm. I should have paid attention. Oh wait, no, the desert claws only appear in the desert. Whoops. In that case, I will go speak to uh, this guy, Mr. Coates. Yeah, up. I want to go up, buddy. I want to go up, up to the top. Okay, so we need to go and see the boss. Let's go see the boss then, shall we? <coughs> Man, I want the, I want the desert claw, man. Dude, you can steal from me all you want, because I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you, fool. No, oh, he, he ran away. God damn it. Hopefully, he didn't steal anything important. Also, you can actually learn the, uh, you can learn Metro Magic for your second enemy skill materia here as well. So just keep that in mind if you want it. Anywho, let's go. Okay, so at this point you can actually visit the uh, the desert as well. By the way, um, like it's not really that worthwhile, but uh, you can encounter some landworms and you can actually steal turbo ethers from them. Obviously, turbo ether is a really good item to use, but it's not really something that we typically need right now. I am just gonna try getting to some battles here though, because I really want to encounter the uh, the desert claw for the enemy skill when I finally get it, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hmm, maybe I can't encounter that. Let's try here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, landworm. Okay. Well, in that case, I will steal. Let's see if I can get one. Let's see if I can get one. If I can't, it's alright, but, you know, might as well try. Might as well try. Hmm. I'm gonna have to heal Barrett out of it, I think. No, 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 man. Oh, okay, let's just heal them up. But yeah, that's the uh, the landworm that you can steal two ethers from. 
And I'm also going to give Hyper to Aerith and Cloud. I'll give Barret a Tranquilizer though, just so he takes less damage. Oh, okay. Also, uh, while you're in this area, uh, you can actually fight cactus as well. However, these have a really, really, really low chance to spawn. But uh, it's there if you want it, you know? It's like, they, they are worth uh, a fight, because if you actually beat them, uh, you do get 10,000 gil from them. But again, that's if you manage to uh, to beat them. And they certainly aren't the, uh, the easiest to fight. So they do have a really, really, really high dodge chance. But again, though, I mean, 10,000 gil, man. 10,000 gil. Just one thing to note, however, is the cactus here, they do have 1,000 needles. However, they won't actually ever use it. It's like only um, the cactus on uh, Cactor Island use the 1,000 needles. The ones here can never, ever use it. Man, another one, really? I don't, I don't want you, man. I don't want you. Let's see, let's just try stealing one more time and then Meteorain it. Is it here that you get the... No, it's going to be the other area, isn't it, where you get Death Laser. Let's go back. Let's go back. Oh, I messed up. I messed up, man. That's bad, that's real bad. Now I've got to get my way back. <sighs> I should have just gone straight down. I really hate the desert man, it's so annoying. It's such an annoying guy. Oh, I actually stole the turbo ether though. I stole it, bro. I'm definitely gonna get Aerith to heal. And then we'll get Barret to kill. Well, Barret probably won't kill it, but you know. Where's Beta? Ah, okay. I was just gonna use Beta anyway. Ooh, poison leveled up. Very nice. Alright, let's see if I can get back. And then it should be down here. Nope. God damn it, man. God damn it. Well, let's see if I can encounter a... Uh, Cactor anyway, I guess. Let's just see if I can encounter one. Oh, Beta did nothing. Aqualung. Aqualung. There we go, a bit more damage that time. Okay, now I let's just do. Uh, in fact, yeah, I'll keep battles on because I want to try and get a cactus. It's like if I can get one, then hey. But I mean, they, their evasion is really, really high, and their spawn chance is like beyond low as well. So there's no saying I'll actually get. It. But if I do, if I do, now I'll just use Aero to heal me. Gotta keep myself healed, baby. Come on, no man, come on. Okay, if this isn't a character, I'm just gonna put no battles on. Okay, no battle time. No battle time! I really messed up, like, I... Yeah, I messed up in the desert. That was annoying as hell, man. That was super annoying. So now I've got to try and get out of the desert, unfortunately. Let's keep running down. Just keep running down. Come on, man, come on. Hmm. Maybe I should run all the way left or something. I don't know, I can't remember how you actually escape the desert. It's been a really, really long time since I got caught here. Um, hmm. Let's just run all the way left. I need to find the chocobo cart, I think. Because I know the chocobo can take me back. There it is! Hey, buddy. Yes, I want to get on. I want to get on. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now I'm back. Now let's try get into a battle with the Death Claw. See, I mean, I'm fairly sure it is this uh, screen that the Death Claw spawns on. Fairly sure, anyway. Just have to see it, or... It's like, I, I'm fairly sure it's this one and not the desert. So, we'll do a few battles here and see. 
Yeah, you can steal from me all you want, bro. I'm still gonna kill you. Oh, all leveled up. Very nice. I need to heal Barret Tempedo. Ah, yes, I don't have any ethers left. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll go to the safe point and use a tent. And it finally lets me out. There we go. Tent, 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 tent. Tent. There we go. Okay, come on now. Just give me the claw. Give me the claw. Give me the death claw. Just g g give me the claw. G g give me the claw, bro. And it really doesn't want to give me the claw. I am fairly sure it's this screen they spawn on, though. Like, I'm super, super sure that it's this screen they spawn on. Hmm. Wait, actually, is it the junkyard near dying? Maybe it's the junkyard near dying. I want to head over there and do a couple of battles, actually, just to see. It might be the junkyard near dying. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna head over there just in case. It's like I'll do a few battles over there to check. Okay, now I just need to keep running right. Just keep on running right. And I'll just flee from that. I'll just flee from that. Alright, come on junkyard, where are you? Come on, junkyard, come on. Junkyard, where are you? I'll flee from him as well. Oh, Aerof actually got a limit break there. Wait, where's the junkyard? It should... What? Did I go to the... Did I go to the wrong screen? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I did actually go to the wrong screen. Is it this way? Yeah, it's that way. God damn it, man. Alright, so this should be where I can get death claws, maybe. Let's see. Hey, it is where I can get death claws. Very nice. Oh, wait, no, that's uh, that's not death claw. That was Metro Magic. So, let's just go ahead and use Aqualung on them. Because that's just the ball motor. So, it's not that one. It's not that one at all, man. Oh, another roll level up of very nice. Alright, come on, Death Claw. Come on. Wait, did my second enemy skill actually learn that? No, it didn't. Maybe it's because they're on the same one. Okay, let's take that enemy skill off and we will give it to Cloud. And then he can have poison there. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. There we go, Death Claw. Okay, Aerith can manipulate. And of course I missed. Aerith can manipulate to... Yeah, okay. Uh, well, first things first, I'm going to get Aerith to heal. Pulse of Light. And then Barret can attack him. Okay, it didn't die. Nice. Manipulate! Missed. God damn it. Manipulate again! There we go! And we'll use laser on Barrett, to, so Barrett can learn it. And then we'll also use it on Cloud, so he can learn it. Wait, what? What was that saying? Laser on Cloud. Oh, skill power is used up. Rip. Rip. Okay, well, at least Barrett learned it. Well, I'm going to get it on Clouds as well. Just because... Just, just because. Kill him on. Kill him on. Wait, did Bar actually learn it? He did learn it, didn't he? Where is it? Laser, laser, laser. There he is. Yeah, so Bar learns it. So I just need to teach it to Cloud now. Kill him on. Kill him on. Oh, ball motors again. Well, it's not the end of the world because they can use Metro Magic. And now I'll just murder them. Murder them with Aqualung, baby. Man, they're really spamming the hell out of Metro Magic there. I should probably heal Barra, actually. Yeah, I, I should probably heal him. Don't want him dying! Don't want him dying at all! Okay, come on. Give me the Death Claw, baby. There we go. So, Cloud can attack him. And then Aerith can manipulate. 
And laser on cloud. There we go. And now I just murder them. I just murder them now. So we have laser on them both now as well. So let's heal up one more time. And then we can move on and have the uh, the boss battle dying. Let's go dying. Let's go bro. You ain't got nothing on me buddy. You ain't got nothing on me at all. It's like I'm going to kick your ass. I'm going to absolutely wreck you buddy. I'm going to wreck you like there's no tomorrow. Hey dying. Long time no see buddy. So I hear you gone cray cray. I hear you gone totally crazy. Listen, Dan, don't sh don't shoot me, don't shoot me. It's Eleanor's voice begging me not to hate your rotten guts. I know I was stupid. Yeah, you were stupid, bro. But it wasn't your fault the town got burnt to the ground. It totally wasn't your fault. I swear, man, I swear. You still want to hear why? All right, I'll tell you. Cause I want to destroy everything. That's going to be a really good uh, cutscene in the remake, you know, like just in pure HD and that with voice acting. This is definitely going to be a real emotional scene for Barrett. And it's definitely going to be pretty good. Pretty good indeed. That's when I found her, I found Marlene. She's in Midgard, let's go see her together. So, she's still alive. What? He's going to kill her, man, he's going to kill Marlene. Stop dying, I can't die yet, I gotta save the planet. Let's go, let's go! I'll kick your ass, fool! I'll beat you like there's no tomorrow, buddy. Because I'm just gonna spam beta. This is probably the cheesiest way you can actually do this fight. Unless you use something like Unger Max. Easy. Bye, Dine. It was nice knowing you, buddy. He gonna jump off the cliff. I lost something irreplaceable. Well, yeah, you lost your sanity. Everything in this crazy world, even me. What about Marlene? What's gonna happen to her? Even if I go see her, she won't even know me. You never know, buddy. You never know. Anywho, we do have a missable item coming up as well, guys. We have the Romu materia. And that is another material that you literally only have the one chance to get. If you don't pick it up while you're doing the uh, the chocobo, then I'm afraid to say it is gone for good. Because th there is literally only the one chance to enter this specific room. And that is coming up right now. You want something? I want to go up. Yeah. Well, I'm afraid Dan can't speak anymore. Did you kill Dan? Yeah, I did. What do you know, buddy? Okay, let's go! Let's go! I wanna go! Let me up! Let me up! Just a shame you can't actually breed your own chocobos yet. It's like, imagine if you could breed chocobos the second you get your buggy. But no, you have to wait until the disc too when you get the airship. Which is really, really a shame. It's like, if you could breed your chocobo this early, it's like, you could actually get um, a black chocobo right now. Well, I say right now. Once you get the buggy, you can get a black chocobo. You new? No, I ain't new, buddy. I ain't new at all. I know who Joe is. He's my arch rival when it comes to chocobo races. At least until I get my gold chocobo. Then he's sorta nobody. And we definitely want the Ramu materia. So make sure you get that materia there, guys. Like 110%. Make sure you get that. That is super, super, super important. Okay, how you doing, Esther? How you doing? <coughs> okay, so how was it again? Okay, auto manual. What's the sprint? What's the sprint? Is it square? I think it's square. Yeah, square to speed up. There we go. And circle to boost. Okay, that's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. Because there is a little trick as well. That if you actually uh, hold R1 and R2, you will actually uh, regen all of your chocobo stamina. So we can just sprint on through to the goal. 
Easy, man. Easy. I kicked your asses. Easy win. Super, super easy. Super, super easy. And we're now home free. And we got given a car. Thanks, Dino. Well, Dio, thank you very much, buddy. Cloud, this is great. The assistant manager just stopped by and dropped off a buggy. Thank you. Hmm, the letter continues. I recently met Sephiroth. Eh. Eh. He, he's not that popular. He's not that popular. Alright, let's get rid of Barrett and get back in uh, with Red. Okay, drive the buggy, man. Okay, first things first. I'm going to take all of the materia off of uh, Barrett and I'm going to give it to Red. There it is. And then as for these two, I'm just going to be uh, taking them off, basically. Because I don't want him to have them anymore. Okay, now, let's see. I will give Red my... Well, maybe not Red. Uh, I'll give Cloud my good enemy skill. Well, may maybe not Cloud, actually. Um, I'll take Heal off. And then, there we go. Okay. It's like, Cloud is going to be my physical attacker. Anywho, there's now actually a ton of uh, optional stuff that we can do. We can get some uh, enemy skills, we can sort of start off um, the side quest for Aerith's Limit Break, and we can visit uh, Gungoga. Other than that, we can also go back to the Gold Saucer and get some items from the Battle Square. But there's no point in doing that just yet, because it takes ages at this point of the game, and we also don't have Ribbon. So I'm just going to be leaving that until later. For now though everybody, I am going to be ending this one right here. Still though, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have then please be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Of course if you're new to the channel then make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. As always though everybody, thanks for watching and I will see you soon.